Hi, you're watching the UBC Weekly Show. My name is Anna Zoria, and today is October 24th, 2011. In our opinion section this week we have a column by myself talking about the electoral area a director election happening next month what's the electoral area a director election about my point exactly oh yes 22nd best university in the world oh hi there and today in the center spread we have uh, photos of sprouts that lovely little student initiative where they with the soup kitchen and the and the feeding of the the hungry masses it's, it's delightful this week in sports, we have a plethora of activities to cover, and we are giving birth to more stories. Oh, hi. In this week's news section, uh, the resource groups are back up and running after having their accounts frozen last month. And also, the bees. The bees are dying, and UBC researchers are helping to fix the problem. Ready? Ready. Um, this week in the culture section, we have a profile of Mike Christie, and we have a Halloween supplement coming up next week. Get ready for that. I wrote a column about soccer! Next week, there'll probably be an article on changes to the executive pay raise! As you guys know, Halloween is coming up, and I'm here with our professional Halloween expert, Bryce Warrens, who's going to give us some tips on how you can have the best Halloween this year. What's the most sophisticated lady costume for this year? Most sophisticated lady costume for this year is uh, a woman giving birth to herself. Uh, the way you carry that off is with sort of a nudie suit. Uh, the arms become legs, and then your feet become hands, and then there's sort of a, a false head in the groinal region. And then using scarves, um, sort of pinkish, purplish scarves, uh, you make uh, like a false vulva around your neck. So the head, your head, is actually the head of a child emerging from a womb. And then you use, uh, you need like a rubber thing to cover up your hair so it looks like you're bald. And you cover your face in jam. And you just scream with the terror of an infant coming into this horrible world of ours. What do you think the douchiest costume this year will be? Uh, the douchiest costume this year is going to be a uh, sexy Steve Jobs vampire. I'm going to see a lot of that. There will probably be a couple of Muammar Gaddafis out there. What is a good slutty costume for this year? Um, a bundle of orifices. What are you planning to dress up as? I'm going to dress up as a horse because a lot of people, I think, are scared of horses. And they don't say it aloud often. It's not really fashionable to be afraid of horses. It's supposed to be a sexy, majestic creature. But people are scared of horses. They're big, uh, they're unpredictable, they have really gross teeth and their mouths move in a really weird way. So I'm going to go as a one-man horse costume. What are you going to dress up as? Jughead from Archie Comics. Something very awesome. I'm going to dress up as Jigsaw. It's probably more awesome than yours. <laughs> Power Ranger or Batman? I'd like to be a horse. Craziest costume. My friend went as an octopus and had like extra arms that were controlled by sticks. These dudes, they just walk around with a cardboard box around their junk. They have another box. It says, open me. Somebody dressed up as Facebook. Put a hole where his face was as a display picture and have a bunch of like stats on the side. I saw this guy dressed up as Jesus. And he actually had a giant like wooden cross. Really like embodied kind of the, the crucifixion. Crucified the situation. Yes. Sports! Saturday night, UBC hosted the Concordia Stingers as part of a preseason tournament at War Memorial Gym. T-Birds started out strong, with new recruit Glenn Bravengard hitting a three in transition. But the Stingers led 40-38 at the half, thanks to strong shooting from players like Evans LaRoche, who ended the game with nine points. Darring for UBC throughout the game was Graham Back, who had a team-high 17 points and nine rebounds. And he helped the team explode in the third quarter, outscoring Concordia 25-11 to take a 65-49 lead going into the fourth. 
Concordia rallied in the final quarter, and a three-pointer by Jean-Andre Masinga with one minute and eight seconds left cut the score to 73-71. With under 10 seconds left, Concordia had a chance to tie the game, but Masinga misses the layup, giving UBC the ball. However, Graham Bath missed his first free throw though, giving the Stingers time to drive the length of the floor for a last second three. However, Frank Fiola's shot is blocked by Gravenyard, securing the victory for UBC. The Birds move to four wins and one loss against Canadian competition in their preseason as they get ready for the start of the Canada West season. Anna, what are you uh, dressing as for Halloween? Bryce, this year I'm going to go as a headbutt. Oh! oh! Jesus! <laughs> the UBC, headbutting Funny. since 1918. I have nothing to say to you. I don't think that's true. That was scary. <laughs> she hit me on the head with her head.